Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you turn your bell on to be notified each and every time I upload a video. If you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey, and welcome back to the channel. So today, you guys, today, you guys, I'm going to give you guys my ultimate favorite collection review of all times at Bath & Body Works, okay? So today, today, I keep saying it because it's like lit. You guys, you guys know I ain't lying about this collection. I've used this collection repeatedly. I have literally have three of three or more of each of these items that I'm going to show you. That's just how passionate I am about this collection because it is just the bomb, 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 bomb. Uh, it is the Rose Collection um, at Bath & Body Works. Um, so first, I got the, fine, the Rose Fine um, Fragrance Mist. Heavenly. The Rose Water and Ivy, which is sort of piggybacks off of the uh, Rose Collection. And then, of course, I got the Rose Shea Body uh, Cream. Y'all listen. This collection right here, right here, literally capped out like $300 on this collection in one shopping trip. Because y'all already know Bath & Body Works, they changed the formulas, they changed the scents, they changed the fragrances. All the time, but in, in, in the packaging, in the stuff be the same sometimes. So I, when I find a scent that I thoroughly, thoroughly love and enjoy and just cannot be without, I stock up on it. And this was one that I definitely stocked up on last year or early in the year when it came, I believe when it came out. Because let me give you the notes on um, Rose. Um, the Rose Water and Ivy says soft rose petals, rain kiss, ivy, and spring musk. That's the notes on the hand soap. You guys, this smells so, so good because, you know, everybody don't be washing their hands and stuff. So when people, I like these scents. So when people go come over my house and they use the bathroom and they use these fragrances, okay, you know they coming out. Their hands smell like soap because you can smell it. So I don't trust everybody because people be saying, I watch, and they ain't wash their hands. They, listen, sis, they ain't. Proper hygiene, COVID, 2020. We got to be ready because 2020 already trying to take us out. You get what I'm saying? So the Rose Water Ivy, y'all, this collection is one of my absolute favorites. And they stay sold out. Stay sold out at my store, okay? So um, this, um, it smells just like a rose bush. Anybody like, if you like roses and the smell of rose, fresh roses, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the rose, the soft rose petals, and you're going to get a hint of musk in it. It's not an overpowering musk. It's a soft, subtle scent. Like, it's, it's, it's just that soft. It smells amazing, and it definitely is one to have in your collection. If you haven't tried it, I suggest that you try it. I don't know what they named it now, but it's called Rose Water and Ivy. But it's definitely one on your list that you're going to have to try. Okay? Try it. Let your girl know. If it's a hit, it's a hit. If it's a miss, it's a miss. It's okay. What I like, what I like. My nose may be different than your nose. You might like something that stank. And I like it. I think it smells good. Or somebody say stank. It may smell good to you. It's just what it is, boo. Okay? It, that's just, just how it go. Okay? So, Rose Water Ivy, right? The next thing I got was this Rose um, Ultra Shade Body Cream, y'all. Bomb smelling. It says every rose water blended with jasmine petals and creamy musk. So these kind of correlate, but they have like a fragrance or so different. But to me, they smell the absolute same. I could care less because listen, when I put this on, you can't tell me that I don't smell good. And you know, like it's hitting. Like, what are you waiting for? Like, why do you not why do y'all sleep on Bath and Body Works? Is it because it's not like Prada Gucci and those fragrances or something? Or the higher end fragrances? Because I hear a lot of people they talk bad about Bath and Body Works. Like, I ain't shopping in there. And I'm like, But like I was saying, I love this collection, you guys. The fragrance mist smells amazing. Y'all, like I've used this like completely up. And it smells so so good. Like, I love roses. If you are, if you like roses, this definitely the connection for your collection for you. It's not overpowering. It's not strong, strong, but it reminds you like boo. It makes your boo be like, come over here, boo. Like, come on over here and sniff on me, kiss on me, and smell this fire that I got on me. Okay, that's you see why? Don't you see why it's empty? What you what do you what do you think it's empty for? Because it's up there and it's stuck there, and you're gonna get you some from Bath and Body Works, all right? So, y'all, that's my review for today for this, you know, right here, this collection. It's lit, 
And, you know, it's only getting better at Bath & Body Works every time. I'm getting more and more impressed by the new releases and the new collections that they're coming out with. Um, because who doing it better than Bath & Body Works right now? Like, nobody. So, definitely excited to see what's to come. And, you know, this is definitely my favorite. But this is number one. And my second favorite is Warm Vanilla Sugar. And my third one is the Aromatherapy Eucalyptus and, you know, <laughs> y'all know how I feel about that. That's mine. Then the next one is, uh, I'm going to have to do like a rank my sets from 1 to 10. Like on a scale of 1 to 10, you know, give everyone a number. I'm going to do that for another video. But y'all stay tuned. If y'all want to see that video, like my top 10 fragrances or my top 5 fragrances, drop that below. I'm also looking to collab with some people. So if you want to collab and do a video, y'all listen, my door is open. Let me know. Drop me a comment. Inbox me. You know, shoot me a shot. You know, all that good jazz. Again, follow me um, on Facebook, Angelica's Lifestyle. You can follow me on Instagram, Angelica's Angelica's Lifestyle. And let's link up. Let's have a good time. Let's have a party. Again, thank y'all so much for watching and tuning in. It's only up from here. And I'll see you in the next video. Okay.